day is a test of your performance. Inspired by commentary made by Tim Kennedy. That's a, a comment he made on uh, one of his videos. This world and uh, the civilian world. At one point, I thought that they were the same. Uh, when I was enlisted, I thought, you know what, fuck, man, how much can be done in a day? How effective can we be and when I get out oh, it's going to be the same but on, on a wider scale <laughs> and um, to my unpleasant surprise I kept on hearing oh, my feet hurt is it time for my break yet oh, I'm going to need a break well, did you know that you get a 15 minute break every three hours or two hours? I don't fucking know. I, I, I didn't give a shit. I just wanted to fucking get shit done. And uh, people complain about, oh, my feet hurt. My feet hurt. <clears throat> my feet hurt while wearing comfortable shoes. Oh man, this sucks to be inside. In, in an air conditioning or semi air conditioning facility building store and uh, my brain cannot understand that because it uh, my tolerance of, of heat as far as I know as far as I've been tested it's 127 degrees where I could function um, on foot out in the open by myself in an unknown city and there's gonna be a player hater out there so I said man all, but all you do is fucking draw man that's all you fucking do just fucking um, draw and just drink star talk about Starbucks and drink Starbucks man Travel just a little bit amongst uh, two continents and I, I learned a little little about life, the human character. And I thought I made this happen with my old knowledge, my old uh, pieces of work, my old collection, my old gallery. <clears throat> which is part of it or, or with this part of it and I thought what can I do now now that I've learned more as I've traveled and I keep at it here Because even though there's no guarantee of me succeeding or reaching my goals or or becoming world famous or um, getting a, a book deal, having uh, significant sales or, or just uh, having it work out well. Without that guarantee, I I don't understand why I still wouldn't go forward. I, I don't. Uh, I couldn't understand if uh, someone told me, "Hey, you should just quit. It can't be done." Because when I earned this title, and uh, I became a tattoo artist, and had another career, two more careers on top of that. Again, according to my bloodline, 
to where I grew up, who I grew up around with. I remember seeing uh, one of the cool chicks from school, high school. One day, uh, served my, <laughs> get my order at Pizza Hut, and uh, she had now become a baby mama. I thought, man, that's what being cool does, makes you a baby mama. I learned someone else who um, wasn't a genius, but her mind was, uh, it was better than mine. Her uh, logic was better than mine. Because she could handle calculus like, uh, like it ain't no thing, yo. And she also ended up at a pizzeria. And other people ending up in jobs that, from high school, that simply required this. Don't have a DUI, have a driver's license, and the ability to walk and chew gum. Wait a minute, that's, that's where I'm supposed to fit in? That's where I'm supposed to uh, get in, to fit in, get in where you fit in. Boom. Great, great two short song. And again, all I can do is just uh, just work on this. Pinch my pennies, make a sale wherever possible. Share my work, post my work, critique it, learn and grow. And at times I feel misunderstood. No, not that. But at times I feel um, that possibly I can't be understood or um, it's not clear and direct to, to communicate <laughs> where I'm going or, or what I'm after because Again, when you have people saying, man, I, I better square up because um, the, the union wants to do this and that. Oh, my, well, I need to get with the union because, you know, we're, we're better in numbers than we could to handle the CEO or the manager or the company like this. I thought, wait, wait, that's... <laughs> as far as I know, that's what the mob would do when they would, um, I believe, uh, make uh, the trash man go on strike. Unless he got paid right, got uh, into the fucking unions to, uh, into the docks, into the garbage to uh, have uh, an environment controlled by them. And then some way, somehow, because it's not a mafia, it's a civilian, supposedly, supposedly just a civilian uh, outfit or civilian control, or worker control, that it's okay. And, uh, and I don't get that. And there'll be people that'll say, man, you're just a lazy motherfucker. I remember uh, one of the tattoo shops that I was at. Most recent one, I had uh, that job full time plus uh, two other jobs, two other part time jobs. So a uh, full time and two part times. But even before that, I remember working 90 days in a row, 9 0. I opened and closed. I 
I was there before the manager and the shop owner. And uh, nope, not to kiss ass, not to, oh, I want to get paid, man, it's all about this money. It's about learning, growing, and shit, man. Being thankful, man. I should make a video. I probably will make another video called How Mopping the Floor Has improved my life, has upgraded my life, has widened my perspective, has hashtag me woke. So one shop owner told me, hey dog, I need you to mop here and there. Hurry up, go. Roger that. And some mopping you know just here and then now over here so one section here and then back and being aware of that he says hey dog give me the mop let me show you how to do this it's like thank you tattoo shop for giving me health insurance for giving me the money to get health insurance, for giving me the money to buy groceries, for giving me the money to put gas in my car. And I, I did feel like crying because it was beautiful. Oh man, you're just a little sissy. No, 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 no. How many fucking stupid, lazy, Fat diabetic fucks, weak pansy fucking cunt motherfucking punks. Work at Starbucks or baristas, flip burgers, and I'm like, oh, I should get, I, I deserve 15 an hour or more. I can't work like this. You want me to read? You want me to to earn more by becoming more? No, fuck that. Let's go on protest. Let's go on strike. You know, those stupid fucks. Small thinking motherfuckers. How much money do you think <clears throat> corporate or a franchisee put up? He's a quarter million dollars to lease the property. Just the property. <laughs> Just get the property. Get the zoning for building. Construction materials, build it up, set up uh, gas, electricity, set up the coke machines, the coke vendors, buy uh, the meat for this week, next week, tomorrow, hire a manager, security in some cases, pave the parking lot, and all these other things, whatever, quarter million dollars, right? So you do all that, get all that done, and now your little stupid ass burger flippers like, you know, I deserve one because I see you put up a quarter million dollars. And uh, that's why I'm rooting for the robots, the kiosks that uh, will. <laughs> I will be going to McDonald's and poisoning myself, killing myself by ordering that shit, but. If I could just go to a kiosk and get uh, a burger, a cheeseburger, a triple cheeseburger, a uh, french fry, a uh, McFlurry. Are McFlurry still out? I don't know. I've been there in a while. And then uh, just wait for either a robot or just that one motherfucker that uh, gets the food. Get my shit and be like, oh, at least I don't have no stupid dumb fuck uh, picking his face or her face and giving you a fucking fucked up attitude to order my shit. <clears throat> and again, you know, I've seen weak motherfuckers say, yeah, my customer service is hell. And uh, 
Just a little food for thought. Uh, no, I'm not uh, disturbed by loss of life any longer or it's the word what are the words permanent body damage to to a human so in order to build up that tolerance just imagine uh, What sort of uh, lovely experiences I've had to to have that perspective or, or that acceptance. And for someone to say, yeah, my customer service is hell. No, just, just a thought of a perspective, that's all. badass motherfucker if anything it's the person that's uh, had a sample of the, uh, the spectrum of existence that's gone and up and down the dial of it There's this one dumb slug that I see that just uh, walks without a, without any initiative. And I feel like uh, dropping an elbow to the top of her skull because uh, this dumb cunt has, I believe, two kids. And to me, that's to me that's child abuse. And I've said this before, man, you're an asshole, you shouldn't be hitting no girls. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, time out. Chewing down the pitchforks and torches, homie, hold on, hold on, hear me out. If you were to train an eagle, would you tell it, uh, look, uh, eagle, I know that you fly way up in the sky. And go so fast that you can live on your own and make this happen and you're king of the skies man no hawk no pigeon no fucking dodo bird can fuck with you you're fast you could fucking pick up a baby lamb and even if you want to chow on it and you might have a private dinner peace and quiet and fucking make shit happen and you're a bad motherfucker but uh you don't want to do that that's too much work. You should hang out with us pigeons here and like, you know, we would go to the park and like pick up scraps. There's a dumpster over here that uh, has food. And we can go in there and just, you know, forget your fresh organic food. We go to the dumpster, man, and then you know, just just talk, just hang out, man. And they go probably be like, what the fuck's wrong? What's wrong with this fucking idiot? Get out of the dumpster, I'm a fucking eagle, man. I could fucking get fresh. Mm-hmm. And when I see parents like that, I just tell their kid, yeah. We got freedom, we got smartphones, we have technology, we got buses, we got trains, we got airplanes, we got cars. Elon Musk is working on the boring system, under, on the underground boring system. Yeah, he's also working on space, but that's boring, isn't it? Mm-hmm. What will the, the son or the daughter say? Oh, wait. Well, Mama's saying that. And Papa doesn't disagree with it, so it must be true. Yeah, why why do all that? Mm-hmm. Let me just 
this stupid thing called the imagination, hope, and dreams. I, I need to watch The Walking Dead. I need to watch Game of Thrones. What else? What's the new... Oh no, the new Marvel movie, Infinity War. Oh, I just saw Black Panther, so that's good. Oh my goodness, what's next door? Oh my goodness, it's, it's just... Uh, I'll just flip burgers and just enjoy life. You know, take it easy. You know, I, you know, I deserve more than 15, 12 an hour, 8 bucks an hour. Don't they know that my mama says I was a, a, a little prince and that my daddy says I was a little princess? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. And uh, the generation will uh, will grow up like that, man. And people will say, "Man, what's the big deal, man? You gotta let people be people. Don't worry, man." I may think my comments are out of line, but don't worry. Um, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. Uh, they got they got a fucking uh, they got a beautiful wor world lined up for you in, t in technology. You'll see. And if you think I'm bullshitting, I recommend you just YouTube uh, the products that they're working on. <coughs> what the workforce consists of and what they will automate, what that actually means for people looking for work or starting somewhere. The flaw of the social justice warrior. Yeah, I might be paranoid, huh? I'm right. So I keep at it, man. make those dark green just because I need some black right there but yeah you motherfuckers out there you know I just um, you know what, whatever it is you're here for or however you found me uh, I'm guessing you have goals, uh, dreams, which you will call success, a dream house, a dream car, dream bay, dream hubby, dream wifey, uh, who you care for, who you would uh, love to share your rewards with, benefits, and uh, all the goodies from, from achieving. And I'm just here to, to uh, just no, just remind you, just fucking get after it, motherfucking go for it, man, as much as possible. Because I think a lot of people, <laughs> I've had people doubt me. It's not possible. It's not right. It can't be done. What are you doing? That's crazy. That's not a real job. That's not respectable. Um, that's not good. And that's coming from people who uh, <laughs> call themselves friends and family of mine. And 
I think of uh, well, the cliche, right, that I've said, which is most, most people die at the age of 23 and wait till they're 70 to get buried. I've seen a kid die at the age of almost like 14 or 15. And, man, I really wanted to help this kid out, but uh, I was on the road and fuck, man. I had to take care of my own shit. It wasn't my fucking kid. But uh, I was at one of my brother's homes. I hadn't seen him in years. And he had told me, yeah, man, I, that kid right there, man, with me. He's walking down the street alone by himself with his hands in his pockets, in his jean pockets. His chin tucked into his chest and his head tucked into his shoulders and just in his back you know, arched real, real cowardly and afraid sort of look. And he told me, uh, you know, him, uh, whenever I see him, I always invite him over to play with my kids because, uh, his parents do not want him at his home. Now, every motherfucker, pansy, piece of shit, weak bitch, cunt, says, hey, turn it down, man, turn it down. And I want you to just think about that. Especially for you fucks that say, oh, you don't know what it's like to have kids. So how can you critique it? Look at Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Father of the Year and Miss Mother of the Year that are doing that to the kid. You know, what's that kid gonna end up doing, you know? All that pain, neglect, rejection, being put down day after day. I, I can just imagine it, man. The fuck are you doing here, you piece of shit? Probably worth more to me dead than alive. Than dead, dead than alive with your life insurance on you. Why'd you fucking die? That's not my son. Nope, that's not my child. I'm losing, losing focus here. I was only in town for a, for a few days, so I had to carry on, man, but... You know, the reason I speak the way that I speak... The reason I hold my convictions, my beliefs, my perspective, my ideas... It's because of what I've seen in life, man. No, not not what in theory, not what I saw on, on Friends or some other happy show. Um, Full House or Seinfeld or um, some lovey-dovey show. Family Matters. The, the honeymooners, or what's before that, that fucking that show. Can't think of it. Um, stuff doesn't really work out like that. And I think it's, it, no, it's up to us, man, to design it, man. Design it for better or for worse, and... And then we could say, no, I don't, of course I'm not going to design my life for worse. I'm like, nigga, <laughs> if you don't take this into consideration, you will. No, man, you should have stopped what you were doing and sacrificed everything, all, all your money out of your pocket and, you know, helped out that kid. Fuck that, man. Hell no, man. 
Dr. Jordan Peterson had put it that uh, on the lifeguard, if, if someone's drowning, you uh, keep your distance and tell the person, well, I'm going to rescue you, but you can't be kicking. You've got to calm down and uh, be prepared to be saved. Because if you, uh, if the person keeps on kicking and panicking, then both you motherfuckers will drown. And, um, Oh man, I've got to uh, got to make my piggy bank stronger, fatter. What? Should I go to a store and, and get their products and services and say, you know what? I got a, a thousand likes on this Facebook post. You know, you're gonna make my feelings feel good. You're gonna make me feel all happy. You're gonna feel good if you give me this stuff for free. Don't you want to make me happy? Make you happy? Make the world a lovelier place. Earning this title, man. Uh, joining the Brotherhood, no. It was good. And the memories about to be full. Get after it. No excuses. Make it happen. Go forward. <laughs>